accommodation takes anyone uh, before 2, two, two p.m. Experience, but we also educate and share uh, with the uh, young bandits. Yeah, you have a lot of enemies, police being one of them because. One. Not unique to anyone. Like there are people sleeping here at night. You can see there's another one. Oh, it's cold. Good morning, people. So, welcome to this new episode. Oh, Victor's Victor. Very early in the morning, so I spent my night here at the park and I just woke up. And so, I want to get ready. This is Vienna, 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 yeah. Mm. Yes, no, there's no accommodation that takes anyone because I arrived at night. No accommodation takes anyone uh, before 2, two, two p.m. So I had no option. I know no one in Vienna. And uh, even if I knew anyone, I don't think I would have bought that then, knowing the person that I am. So it's early morning. Um, show them the, the building. It's a very beautiful building. Yes, now the streets here are pretty safe, so. It's easy to, especially parks, it's my nephew told me, yeah, go to a park. So I'm going to get ready, freshen up, and then do some content around Vienna. This is my toothbrush, my toothpaste. Just making sure everything is on point. Like I said, in every country in Europe, most of them, I've not gone to all of them. Uh, we have uh, the fountains. That's what I'm gonna use to go first. This is life in Europe. It's not unique to anyone. Like there are people sleeping here at night. You can see there's another one. We slept there the whole night. What I'm showing you and what I'm telling you, nobody, maybe some people will, but most people will not show you this about Europe. If you are, if you are traveling, make sure you travel wherever you are arriving. Arrive slightly after or before 2 p.m. If you arrive early, you stay out. Make sure you're not depending on anyone for anything in Europe, whether it's your mother, your father, or your relative. Make sure you're just not depending on anyone. I'm telling you, if you listen to me, you'll thank me. So with that being said, I'm gonna wash my face. Trust me. This water is actually good for consumption.
in Europe. You will go hungry. Say in Europe you'll certainly go hungry, but you will never go thirsty. <laughs> because there is clean water in the fountains always. See the birds are here. The doves, which is a good sign. And the architect. Uh, I hadn't shown you guys for I love that so beautiful. I just arrived. This is actually my first morning in Vienna, Austria. University of Austria, here we are. So please drop a comment on the comment section. And uh, tonight, just exploring, because I was at the train station and uh, when they clean they send you out i think in the previous video you saw you saw they send you out and so the safest place to be is around the parks and uh like i was saying i've seen elites yesterday i was having a conversation with the prophet who also happened to spend a night in the park. I don't know what time he left. Just make sure you're safe. I have everything, all my belongings, my laptop, my clothes, my shoes, my phone, my charger, and everything in here. So one of the things that my mom told me, regardless whether you sleep outside, whether you don't, you go without a meal, hygiene should be your priority. My body is not necessarily fresh, but I feel fresh. I've done the basics. So I only need to Wear one thing, my smile. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> I literally spent my uh, part of my night outside there. And uh, so now I'm gonna look for breakfast. Still have a few hours, but you know also what's crazy is that this is my first time in Vienna. So, that's why it's crazy for me to be exploring. What I was saying, and what I was telling a young Victor out there, and a young you out there, if you're ever traveling to any Western country, unless it is guaranteed and it's down on paper, do not depend on anyone. Do this. Like I said, in the past years, while traveling, I've been traveling with organizations and uh, so it made me not really feel this and I want to experience this. I'm doing this to experience but to also educate and share uh, with uh, young Victor and Victor and with everyone out there. Life in Europe is not easy. It is not easy. Just like it's difficult everywhere. Uh, Europe is supporting Africa, uh, the US, but also it's not easy. Life is not easy in the Western world. And um, do not judge anyone you see on the street. Some of them are very frustrated, so they have bad behaviors. But a good number of them are good people. So, and there are people that were just sucked up. They were, they, they were just. They, they they fallen they were circumstance of situation like i said 
I was with a professor last night and we had a deep conversation. He was really thrilled by the fact. But his situation is like, you know, like really, really intense. So I also have met people who came here for greener pastures and uh, when they arrived here, the grass is not green on the other side. That's what they found out. And so they have to deal with this. So they're in the street. And when you are in the street, you have, oh my God, just gone sandbit. Yeah, you have a lot of enemies, police being one of them, because uh, there are chances you might go to jail if you're in the street illegally. I'm here legally, my visa is very valid. And I'm really happy to be sharing my experiences with you guys. So I'm gonna be grabbing breakfast and then see what's up for the day before I check in and start showing you guys the real Vienna. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy. Look at this shoe. so beautiful, so beautiful. So if you look at this, if you see it on picture and on video, you'd never believe that anyone here suffers. So don't see this and think that, oh, it's heaven. No. Yes, it's heaven on earth, but it, it, it also can be hell on earth. Without me, yeah, in a blink of an eye, it can be hell on earth for you. So if you're ever deciding to come to Europe, please know what's bringing you to Europe. Do what's bringing you to Europe. Do not shift whatever you came here to do. And also, have a plan for you and alone. And if you're depending on someone, make sure you have a backup, plan B. So let's keep going, ladies and gentlemen. And then we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna be grabbing breakfast from here. Um, 
and uh, continue my day as I wait for the hostels to allow us in but I really hope you learned from this video and enjoyed this video um, let me know what you guys think on the comment section I'd really like to know your insights on that but this is actually the real drill how I spent uh, my night today and uh, I really wanted to share it with you guys because I was like whoa so it's the line between finding yourself in the streets and being in a stable situation here in Europe is very thin food for thought as you come to Europe see you guys in the next video Adios, peace.